Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to find and locate duplicate files on your Windows computers. So duplicate finders can scan your hard drive for duplicate files that could help you remove them. And we would hopefully be able to free up some space on your hard disk, which is probably what you're looking for a tutorial like this. So the tools I'm going to go through in this video are going to show you the paths in which the files are located. So it should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So there are numerous applications that will allow you to locate duplicate files. I have demonstrated a couple of them on this channel before, but I am going to highlight one of the most popular utilities that you guys might not be aware of, CCleaner, at least one of the most popular desktop cleaning utilities. So I'm going to open up a web browser here and download it. I just want to give you guys a complete walkthrough here because there are quite a few people on this video that have likely never heard of CCleaner before. And if you're unaware, it's one of the best third-party applications, or at least one of the most used applications out there to remove temp files, cookies, and whatnot. It definitely offers a little bit more of a pen. So this should be a completely free application. There's a professional version. And you want to download it from pureform.com. You can download it from other sites that host these files, but I would recommend downloading it from their own servers here. You want to go underneath the free version and go down to the download button at the bottom and just left click on it one time to begin the download process. Since it's really quick and easy to install CCleaner, I'm just going to show the entire installation process for this video. Shouldn't take more than a few moments here. So you might get a user account control prompt. You want to select yes to allow it to run. And if you already have it installed in your computer, obviously you don't have to go through this part of the tutorial. But I just want to give you guys an idea. You go on Google, type in CCleaner. I'd recommend left clicking on Customize at the bottom here. And then if you want to uncheck any of these options, you're more welcome to. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to uncheck the box to install Avast Free Antivirus because Avast has purchased CCleaner in the past year. Or more appropriately, they purchased the parent company, Pureform, the developers of CCleaner. So I'm going to uncheck that box. If you want to keep it checked, you're more welcome to. But I personally do not want to install that, so I'm going to left click on the install button right here once you've unchecked that box. And I'm going to uncheck the box that says view release notes, and then I'm going to left click on run cleaner. And it should take a moment before the interface opens up here. And now on the left side, you want to left click on the tools button right here, so you just want to left click on that one time. It should be pretty straightforward to see that. And then on the left side, there should be something that says duplicate finder, left click. And now I would recommend keeping most of this information already set up here as default. There really is no need to change it. And just going through a couple of the settings really quick, it's pretty straightforward. So the default settings are going to allow you to search for duplicate files on your C drive, which we can see right here. If Windows is installed on a different drive, it'll likely auto put it in here. So you probably don't have to really change anything. So this will ignore system files and hidden files as well. So I just want to put that out there. So once I have that in here, I'm going to scroll down using the scroll bar on the right or your scroller on your mouse. And then left click on the search button right here. And it says file search completed. Left click on OK. And now at this point you can see what it's found. So just duplicate files listed in here. If you wanted to delete them, you could just check mark inside the boxes here. And then just left click on the delete selected right here. If it's required, it's not maybe going to give you an option to remove it. It might just be grayed out. But the ones you are able to delete, just left click on Delete Selected down here. It's going to say Permanently Delete Selected Files from Your System. Are you sure you want to do this? I'm going to left click on OK. And you can see how quick that was. Very straightforward. At this point, more than welcome to do whatever you want on your system. If you want to remove CCleaner, you're welcome to do that as well. But pretty straightforward tutorial, guys, and I do hope it was able to accomplish what you were looking for. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.